Disney's looking at acquiring all of Hulu. This is a big one. So let's talk about some of these numbers. So in a strategic move, the Walt Disney Company has announced its decision to acquire full control of Hulu, a major player in the, obviously we know, like giant yeah, streaming platform. And they're looking at paying $8.61 billion. This is pretty amazing. And they have a deal. It's called a, a put call agreement. So a put call option, which is the agreement, but it's an option agreement. It's basically by a private limited company and the seller will grant a buyer the call or the right to call the option for shares. Anyway, so that's what they're doing here. The, what we're focusing on is just a lot of money. So do you think this is a good move for them? Like, especially for their branding and the fact that they are trying to build their own platform? I think this is good. And I think this is what they needed to do. Because I mean, they've already had a piece of Hulu, but they wanted to, you know, they obviously wanted the whole thing. And the way that it was started by, you know, a bunch of these media companies, and then they kind of got sold and sort of bite off now, and now they're going to get it. Disney's been struggling with Disney Plus and their platform. And part of the move that they're going to be doing is they're going to be incorporating a lot of the Hulu stuff inside of Disney Plus, but they're also going to leave Hulu as its own standalone entity too. So they're going to put all the stuff in there. And and Hulu has been, for me, I feel like I'm watching Hulu more. I'm watching Max a lot, but Hulu's got, you know, a lot of really, really great shows. They got the only murders in the building. They're doing big with the Kardashians. I like Kitchen Nightmares. We watch Shark Tank on that. There's a lot of just stuff and they have a lot, some interesting, you know, movies and just other Know, content. So I think this is going to be really good because they were struggling. Their shares were on a decline. Two years ago, they were at 197 and then they dropped down to uh, 81 is what mm -hmm. their shares are currently trading at right now. Yeah. So this is their strategy to enhance profitability and because they're just Disney Plus. And that's disappointing to hear, but I also understand why. Like for me, it feels... It's a, it's a bad way of saying, but almost too niche. Like every time I go into Disney Plus yeah. and I'm like, I have to be in a certain vibe and, and you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm going to find what I want. I don't know if I, if anyone else feels that, that way, but maybe that's it. I, I don't so, know. I, I think Disney Plus has really great content. Um, I really love yeah. all the Star Wars stuff. Sure. You know, I know you weren't as big on Ahsoka <laughs> as I am um, and all those, but I watched all those that, that, you know, the Disney, that, that hundred years look back was just incredible. Uh, that they just released i can't think of what it was like once upon it something the 100 years where they had all the disney characters showing up they have little cool things the behind the scenes stuff on there and of course all the great movies but um like i said they were they, they've they've been they've been kind of struggling and they're they've been exploring what they're going to be doing and their options they've been talking about you know selling their stake in espn which they mm -hmm. have um the sale they're selling um thinking about selling ABC and some of their local TV stations um, and then getting rid of a lot of the content on Disney plus isn't coming back. So they've been making huge moves. And, and, and so I don't know, I think it's, you know, people, there's obviously concerns that, you know, Disney, Oh my God, Disney's taking everything and it's a monopoly. And you know, people start to worry about that when these companies just are just, I mean, Disney's already been huge, but I don't know. I think it'll help. I think it'll definitely help their streaming. Yeah. All right. So we'll see if they do this acquisition. Keep you guys posted.